on a lake. Does anybody know the name of the lake? Dogfish Lake, South Dog of Bard Lake. Lake. We are on it south. I thought we were north. South. Ardbeg okay, we're on Dogfish Lake, south of Ardbeg, Ontario, in the middle of nowhere. Today we're with the Land Rover Adventure Association of Ontario, and half of them are members of the Ottawa Valley Land Rovers. Every kid thinks of driving around Africa when they see these things, uh, at least every kid of my generation sees these things driving around Africa, and that's where Land Rover made their name. I'm driving this one. It's a 2000 model Land Rover Defender 110, 110-inch wheelbase county station wagon. Always wanted a Land Rover. I like British vehicles. I started off with uh, MGBs. I had an MGB GT for almost 20 years, and uh, when I got rid of that, I decided I wanted to move into Land Rovers. I'm cooking a ribeye steak with wonderful barbecue spice on it, and I think it's done. This is a 1963 Series 2A Land Rover. Had it dragged home and spent several years getting it back on the road and running again. And it's been licensed and running now for about 12 years. This is the evolution of the one that they took on the overland journey to Singapore. So they're a very capable truck. They just don't have the same uh, soft springing that the new ones have. But yeah, there's only a synchro mesh between third and fourth gear. So you've got to double clutch everything. It's all old school. Uh, as you found out, the brakes serve. When they're, when they're wet and slimy, they don't want to stop. And so you've got to be prepared for that and dry them out lots as you're driving along. Uh, it's, it's a very visceral experience to drive one of these. Well, these were the ones that I watched on Wild Kingdom as a kid growing up and always wanted to have one. So when I got the chance to get one, I stuck with it. My favorite thing coming out uh, really with, with the club is just the camaraderie and the great people that you meet when you're on the trails. Well, if you're interested in getting involved, there's things like the Land Rover Adventure Association, there's the Ottawa Valley Land Rover Club. There are a number of different off-roading clubs that are not only catered to just Land Rovers, but lots of different makes as well. You don't have to buy the, the fanciest truck and spend lots of money. You can start it with something fairly simple that you can afford and do some work yourself. But it doesn't have to be a really expensive hobby. My travel companion this weekend is my Labrador Maggie, who's 18 months old. And are you going to come over? Come here. Come here. Yeah. Whoa. There. This is Maggie. My position now is say I'm uh, president of the Ontario Federation of Four Wheel Drive Clubs and my interest is uh, I am very keen on preserving this opportunity but also trying to sort of instill that uh, sense of enthusiasm and understanding from government and, and other organisations so that this, uh, this form of recreation is accepted. Well, uh, the Federation, it's an Ontario Federation, so we've actually got a, about 20 plus member clubs. We work with Ministry of Natural Resources and uh, other government departments. We run newbie runs every year, so there's a varying number of newbie runs every year. And that's essentially a free um, thing that you can just come along and uh, go out for the day and we'll take you out on the trails. Mm -hmm. 